Right, here we go, off the hook. Oh, did we? Oh, we need to... oh he's got another one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> his hands blocked half the light. <laughs> Loving this, Jimmy boy. Hey, look at him, man. <laughs> hey, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Hello, my lovely people. You've got it. We're back for series two of Off the Hook with Skybet. It's a podcast with Jimmy Bullock. We're going fishing. <laughs> oh, no. Now, yeah, what's nervous when you went? We're gonna do a fishing thing on you and we are gonna do it out at sea. Aha! What are we gonna catch? No. <laughs> How could we really open up these guests? <laughs> Why would you do that? Hold on and the Norris. Get in there. Oh, oh I've got to go home with this wet jacket. Oh. Right, I've got to say, Neil Walnock. Where have you bought me? It feels like heaven to me. This is absolutely gorgeous. Talk to me about this gaff. Yeah, it is. It, it's something we, we bought this in 95. Yeah. Um, I mean, property down here then were absolutely zero. You know, nobody bought in Cornwall. And, um, and then we just kept it. Wherever we've been, we've, we've obviously improved it and done things about every couple of years and just gone on and on. And, as you see, we just love it. This was here. The, the pond it's was here. It's immaculate, mate, isn't it? Um, and the, all the island with the rhododendrons and that, that, that was here before. Yeah. Um, but the, um, the the fish, funnily enough, I stocked the fish when I first came. We, you know, we, we did so the there's some there. already in here, yeah? Yeah. And, and what do you think they got up to? About £10, something like that. Uh, they would have been bigger, but we had them... Um, we had them, we had electrocuted the first lot. When I left Plymouth, somebody come across the fields and, and took all the rainbow trout. Right, okay. And then, uh, and then second time I had a problem was uh, with the minks. The minks come down and yeah, bit yeah, all yeah, the yeah, fish. They will do. So yeah, we had to yeah. put electric fence around, really. And then there's some lovely carp and uh, roach, which nice. are, I, I like roach, but probably made a mistake at first putting them in. They, Is there a load in here? They throw out, they, right, because okay. they just breed, don't they? And I've got to say, the first guest, look what he's done us, guys. Isn't that Cameron? Got our own bait, a little bit of meat. What else you got, Russ, Neil? I've got bit a, of lunch, bread. a bit of lunch and meat, and then this is And just, I bought some maggots, right? Just bread that. So we're covered. Yeah. Would you call yourself an angler then, Neil? No, I wouldn't, no. I would call myself, uh, I just love peace and quiet, Jim. People that don't fish always said to me like, how can you sit on the bank and not catch anything yeah. all day long and enjoy it? I said, because that's what it's about. Absolutely. I said, I'm not quite as bad as that. I have to have something to look at. I mean, one day I was sat here where you are, Jim, now. Yeah. I'd come back and sat here, left me rod up on that, on that, see the wooden part at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sat here just having a sandwich. What flies onto me rod? A kingfisher. Beautiful. Yeah. And I'm sat here thinking if I move, he's going to fly off. But, uh, but, don't get but he didn't. Than that. So I got me, I Did got you get me thrown camp? out yeah. slowly and I took a picture Did and he stayed really? there. Yeah, it That's was, unreal. I mean, that yeah, that don't happen a lot. No, it doesn't. Did you um, ever fish as a kid, Neil? Yeah, me, me dad were, he worked 16 start? hour shifts at the steelworks, British English steel, and uh, they used to have some uh, used to have some ponds, you know, for all the staff to go and use, lily ponds. Yeah. And I went there once and I'll never forget one of me earlier, I must have been about eight or nine, my dad took me. And we're in this lily pond. And when you're a kid, you don't want to fish where everybody tells you to, do you, Jim? You no. want to go down the yeah. bank, find a little few little lilies. And just yeah, tuck it yeah, in. Yeah. So, of course, I goes down the bank, about only about 40 yards from me, Dad. And I find this little cram. He puts it in at the side of this, uh, this uh, lily. And then about 20 minutes later, my float goes down. So I pulls it in. Got one, Dad. Just, you know, not that. And as I'm pulling it in, oh, my God, I've never seen anything like it. A pike got it's hold okay. of it. Yeah. I, Dad, Dad, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, if we're gonna pull me in, Bod's, we're pulling me, bent he's over sprinting double. down yeah. bank, pull, pull me back, got hold of the thing, and uh, it took him about half an hour to get it in. It was really? unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In them days, you had to kill him. So is that your first fish? That was me. A pike? Well, well, well you caught first, two there. In I caught the roach. Yeah, that's class. <laughs> yeah, oh, but brilliant. I did. It, it, was, uh, it was a good... And I just, I just loved relaxing, Jim. You know what it's like? People have their different hobbies, don't they? But I've always... I, I could sit here all day... And there's always something happening in, with nature and, and what have you. And I think it, you know, sometimes the, the little things in life, you know, you look about the kids nowadays, yep. they've all got phones and computers and everything yeah, else. They're missing they? all this, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it's great for them. I was going to say as well, Neil, not that this has turned into a property show because it hasn't at all. I've looked over there, guys, and he's only got like a little, what did you say? It's a cross between a golf course come pitch and putt. You've got four holes over there, have I noticed? Five, we've got five greens. This is, you don't realise what you've done to me here. No. This is 
golf and fishing is my dream. <laughs> <laughs> you pegged me up on a glorious lake, and we've got a golf course over there. Do you, well, do you, you go and have a, a golf course. Putt? It's like when Alan, this, I spoke to uh, Alan Brazil this morning, and he said to me, you've got about 300 acres, haven't you? I said, no, Alan, I've got an old <laughs> tractor. I've got a massive Ferguson tractor, and, about a, and I have got a few acres, but not a lot. He says, oh, all right, well, you know, and all that. But I did those, it was a field, the golf, the golf holes, what I did. And one day, an old guy were when i first come in 95 he was he was left this pond was all full of silt and they were all eels and that yeah, he was he clearing says. it out for me one day and i went i went i said cliff can you take your jcb whatever they call it can you go and just there's some lovely little it's areas look in after that field. Your grounds. yeah and he i come back about three hours later he'd done me five holes brilliant so then i, I got it ready I, you mowing. know I, I kept cutting the fair the field and it went to a, a lovely that and and then i got somebody from uh from St. Melian to come and help me. Uh, they did the greens for me. Right, okay. And, and so it was, oh, it's really, I really right, enjoy it because I'm a bad golfer. My son, William, he's, he's really good. He's down to about seven, six or seven now. Right. And he's only been playing about 18 months. Did I meet him before when I come around yours? Was that him when I met, do you remember? Do you remember when you tried to sign me? That was at, uh, was that Richmond? Where was I? Where was it? Yeah, that? you was at Richmond. It was Richmond, It was at Richmond. Yeah, it was, Will. Yeah, was it him, yeah, was it? Was he come yeah. downstairs. Yeah, yeah, I remember having a little picture with him. That's right, you did. Yeah. I didn't know, I knew it, Jim. I couldn't, I couldn't remember exactly, because I had a few in the house that year. I had you, I had a... Because um, talk me through it, it's a bit blurry to me, because I remember, I was at Fulham, I must have been at Fulham. Was yeah. I at Fulham? Or did, were you going to Where Fulham? was you there? Was you at QPR, do you remember? I was at QPR. And you tried to sign me, because I remember, yeah. you said, come and have a chat, Jim, and I, I, come, I come to your ass, do you remember? Yeah, because I, I wanted some energy. I've, right, got, okay. I've, got, I've got good players, Ali Forlan and Derry and people, but yeah. I ain't got any energy, and I thought, just a kid for me, him. Yeah. Uh, and you come down. I, I, I had the lad Williams and all the lad at Swansea, the centre half. Right. And he yes, was in our yes, house. Yes, yes. But then Flavio uh, wouldn't let me sign. He said, Is no, that we're, what not, happened? we're not yeah, signing yeah, anybody. Yeah. He says, I'm selling the club. Right. So okay. we didn't sign anybody from getting promotion in April till last week in August. I fancied that, you know. I had a fancy playing under you. Yeah. I really, yeah, I really, because Fulham said I could go out and talk to other clubs, and that's why I come to you and see your chat, waiting for your phone call, never happened. And do you know what? I don't know what happened, but Flavio, a year later, called me, and I went back to meet him. It still didn't happen, so it's yeah. saying QPR. I, I don't know, I can't happen. remember what happened, but yeah. the thing about you, the way you play is, you're always one of them for me, get eight out of ten every week. You're never a ten, and you're never a six. Yeah. As a manager, you're a dream. I've had a few at every club I've had. I've had these players had that give tins, me Neil. everything. I had a couple of tens. You had a couple of nines. I had a couple of nines. Would you? <laughs> you might have had a few fives and all. <laughs> but uh, in general, I wouldn't say you were in a good age. No, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. steady eight. That's what you're always looking for, surely. Yeah, you want you want them. You rely on them, lads, when you're a manager. You don't. Yeah, you know, yeah, you don't yeah. worry about him. Yeah. Let's worry about the other two or three that'll, you know, win you the game. The strikers and the person, you know, the, the lads who are. Uh, you know, you, Adele Tarabu I had at QPR. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to talk about you, man. Look, let's get some, should we get some rods in? Yeah. Let's see if we catch. Let's, how are we going to do this? Okay. Gonna... Well, I've got, uh, listen, you... Because I've got plenty of questions got some, for you. You've got some... Um, I've got you, a little maggot you've got feed. the old maggots, and usually yeah. you get the, ro the roach on the maggots. Okay, well... But look, I'm going to put a bit of, I'm going to put a bit of luncheon meat you, on. Look, you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing, hopefully. Let's just do what we feel, and then... The thing about it is when you when you get ready, <laughs> even in rain, you don't you don't, you don't no, bother yeah. you, does it? No, no, I'm I'm I'd be all day, mate. Yeah. So where did you where did you go after Fulham, Jim? Um, when did I go out of Fulham, um, I went to Hull, didn't I? Yeah. I, I went to Hull, went up there, got injured first game. It wasn't a great start, did you know? Oh, was that a little? Yeah, a little nibble, wasn't it? Hold up. Did, he did a brilliant job. Good. I watched. Bruce it into there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, Phil Brown signed me. Yeah, yeah. I was there with Brownie. But I loved it at Fulham, Neil. I loved it. And then the areas. Got, yeah, just, into it. just loved it. Sport with golf. And yeah. I saw it well, when, I, me all these when I were at Sheffield United yeah. all them years ago, yeah. Um, I, when I were at Notts County for a start, going back further, I got offered Chelsea job. Did you really? Yeah, when I got when I when I got um, got on promoted to top was flight. What was that? Ninety, I don't know, ninety. Three, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. And uh, Ian Porterfield got it at that time. He, he, they gave it to him after that when I turned it down. But I just didn't, I didn't fancy London, if I'm honest. I went up there and I enjoyed it and good group of lads. Yeah. And they, you know, they pleaded with me to stay, the lads. Yeah. And I thought, 
you know, I owe, I owe it to them really. They've they all loved done. You the, there, didn't yeah, they? they've all bloody done it for me. Oh, tight. The boy is it. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, Jim. <laughs> What's an anchor? Neil, you frightened the light out of me. I want, it did me at all. I've got the net. I've Have got you got the, the net? net? Yeah, I've got you. I've got you. What a star. Let me come to your right. Let me come to your right. There you go. I've just got to, can't get over of that elastic yet. It's all right. Yeah, Can just, you just put yeah, that yeah, down, Jim? Just watch when you step back. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to crunch no. it. You just got to let him go a bit, haven't you? At first. Yeah, it's all right. I can't see it. <laughs> so I can see is, you know what? It's one of them gold ones, I think. Yeah. I'm through my line now. If I can get this elastic now. There you go. And he won't go so far then. It's all right. Let's have a look at him. Oh, oh no, he's not a massive yeah, one, is he? Pounds, a nice one, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three or four. Well, it's clear in there, isn't no, it? Yeah, I just have to let him go again. Him. Yeah, he's all right, take your time. He's a strong one, isn't he? And yet, when you catch a bream, Jim, I didn't know what they were, them bream. Plod along, didn't they? They just come in, just don't like they? They come in towards you. Spuds, <laughs> <isn't they? laughs> come on, my old son, there. Eh? Oh dear. Are you ready for him, Jim? He's in. He's in the onion. Well done, sir. Oh, we love it, don't we? Yeah. Let me get him in and let me take my line up. <sighs> Can you come other side, Jim? Go yeah, other I'll side. Look, I'll put that down. Ah, oh. oh, what a start. Walnut Bullard. <laughs> what a combo. <laughs> Just hold him. Oh, he's a nice one, isn't he? Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah, hooks come out. Oh, we've come it? out already. Look, we're lucky, weren't we? Come, yeah. we've got to have a little pick. Oh, God, let me just put my thing down. A little pick over there. Oh. Here we go. Round one, walnut bull on. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> Love it. Let me yeah. put him back. Put him back, Jim. All right, go on, mate. Got it? Yeah, gotcha. So that caught you. It's all right. Tell you what, should we have a little. Hold up. Yes. Oh, oh we're there. <laughs> hit the post, in I off. Know, I know. That don't count, it's still 1 0 in Yeah, it, 1 0 Walnut. Yeah. Do you know I love this, this, uh, this farm, it's lovely, isn't it? What's that? Me, me bait. Oh, I mate. Always, I always put them a bit big so I can have a piece. <laughs> we'll have a little chat about Chef. You said. Um, you owed it to the boys to stay, mate. Sheffield United. Let's have a little chin wag about it. How much you enjoy your time there, Neil? Uh, it was uh, it was a time a time in my career really. Well, I couldn't believe it at times. Um, I um, I went to I was at to Bury at the time. Yeah. And I got the call, um, and it was just like winning pools for me. I um, I just. Um, I can remember driving from Bury yep. to uh, Bramall Lane, and I sat at, I just sat in my car at the back of Bramall Lane for two hours at night, just looking at Sheffield looking United at up there. Yeah, and I yeah, think, yeah. Talking to my mum and dad who passed away, obviously, and I said, "Bloody hell!" My mum always said, "You'll do something." At you, my dad always, you know, he were a, he were a blade and all. So it was. I said, Bank, they, "They'll be looking at me now," you know. Yeah. Um, Sorry, turn that off. Go on. And uh, you've got me thinking now. Phone's just gone. Yeah. So um, I took over there and, and me, some of my family were Wednesdayites. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought, I've always wanted to, um, they asked me what, what my ambitions were when I took over. I said, well, I'd like to get it to number one club in Sheffield. Yeah. Because Wednesdays always, were always bigger yeah. than uh, when I grew up. I'd like to get in the Premier League uh, with Sheffield United and uh, I'd like to get to Wembley. And, and sort of, you know, that, they were my ambitions when I set off, and, and that's what I did, really. And uh, I think with Sheffield United, it was just a matter of... It, the whole club needed changing, really. Restructure. I mean, when I took yeah. over, the game before I took over... Where were they at when they took over as a club? What, what they were, were in they? the Championship. Yeah. But they were the, the game before I took they were over... They were in Miso, weren't they? The 8,000 crowd at home, 8,600 against right, Port okay. Vale, and they'd lost. 
never forget it. And yeah. then I took over. And when I left, they were averaging 25,000. Built a training ground up near, up Il on Sheffield Wednesday yes. territory, really. Yeah. And uh, we made a lovely stadium as well. So it, I felt really proud of the job that I did there. It was a, it was a seven years, Yes. you know. I mean, you, you get criticised everywhere you go, but I had some fabulous support. Remember playing yeah. against you in that, that time, in that era, whatever you want to call it. What, what sort of players done it for you? What sort Jaggy Elka, Tony, Montgomery. Montgomery, were, Montgomery he were a, player, a lesser good. Jimmy Bullard. I know it sounds silly. He, he were a lesser, he gave me everything. Good every player, game. weren't he? Yeah. I always remember coming Stuck up against him. Yeah, you... and get him box to box. Yeah, well, I'm in here. Go on, see if you can. Yes, you got one. I don't think you'll need landing net, Jim. He's a little raw. I don't know. He's. <laughs> oh, it's a rud. He's a little cut. No, he's a cut. Oh, it's tinted. To... Yeah, it's, it's a... like a. Um... Oh, I'll tell you what it might be. Is it might be one of them? A few years, a couple of years ago, I put some little ones in out of a pond. You know, like the koi carp. It's not one of them, is it? I've never seen one like that. I might take a picture of that. He is. Or you put that back. Yeah, he's like a little koi goldfish. Yeah. But I've never seen I've never seen one like that, Jim. Let me just take a picture of that. That's brilliant, thanks. Yeah, I've never seen one like that in my pond. You got all sorts in here, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. Go on, we're talking about Montgomery and uh, Michael Browns. Um, well, Brownie, I actually, I actually rescued Brownie from Scrap Heat, really. Go on. Brownie, he was, uh, he was at Man City. That's right, yeah. And yeah. They, they had sent him off to Portsmouth on loan. He'd fallen out with manager there. He'd kicked up a song and dance week before and <laughs> left out. And I'd watched him. I'd watched, I'd watched another player. Um, I'd watched another player um, about three or four weeks and um, this wide player, and, and I couldn't, couldn't get this kid. And I thought, I remember what a Brownie and people said to me, I said, but when I watched him play, yeah. he, he did things that I like, for me, he little, you know, little nasty sod at times. And, yeah, and yeah, I loved yeah. how, he, how, he, how he didn't let anybody worry him. He was my type of person yeah. as a player. So I, I talked to him, they let me talk to him. And uh, I told him, I said, look, you have to come. I'm going to play on left to start with. He weren't a left sider, but he played left for them. And uh, I said, Man City don't want you, Portsmouth don't want you, you might as well come with me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you <know>? Nicked him. <laughs> and, uh, and he come here and he played left side to start with and then went to the centre. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Some yeah. of his goals. I mean, I, I, I still wake up at now and then and see a goal he scored. Sheffield Wednesday, about yeah. 30 yards, top corner. Oh, yeah, my yeah, goodness, yeah. mate. That's some good players, uh, And what a lovely yeah. lad and all. You, yeah. know, his you had family. a great bunch there, Neil. I remember playing against you. We had a great team, Wigan. We used to play against you. And I remember going to Bramwell Lane. You had that buzz in. Paddy Kenny. I had him on the show the other week. He absolutely loves you. Do you have a good connection with Paddy? Yeah, Paddy. I mean, what can you say about Paddy? Paddy, I took him from... Uh... He t sorry, he told me a story. Go he said, He said, you phoned him up. It's when he... He left, you wanted him later on, back in his career. Yeah. He, he went, you fit, Pad. He went, I'm Paddy fit, you went, that'll do for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a right character, really, Pad. Yeah, he is. He's never been fit uh, <laughs> nah. since I signed him. But I, I always think good, good um, goalkeepers are the ones that make the fewest mistakes. Yes. And it, I could count on one hand in a season in yeah. making mistakes. Yeah, he just yeah. didn't make them. Uh, and I, I loved him, me. Uh, he had a temper. He was a bit of a lad. I remember he, he bit somebody in a takeaway somewhere and got charged <laughs> when I when he was with me. I said, "Did you put any vinegar on it, son?" But he was a, <laughs> you know, he was a, uh, it was one of them. Yeah. That I always liked him in the dressing room, him. And uh, I remember when we played down at. Um, now then, who was it now? Uh, Oh, I've got the kid from Wolves, the, the fullback who always got sent off against me. He was playing at Millwall. Oh, Muscat. Yeah, Kevin Muscat. Oh, nastiest he's an player I've ever played against. Oh, he was an handful, wasn't oh, he? Oh, my God. And, uh, I mean, he didn't disguise anything. He just went over the top whenever, <laughs> whenever yeah, yeah. he wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we played Millwall, and I remember he, he did summit, and uh, Paddy responded at half time without tunneling. They were all hell on at half time, and he, 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 he were like a war. I got them all in the dressing room, and I said, bloody hell, lad, be, you know, be careful. Paddy said, well, you know, you saw the tackle gaffer, you saw this, you know. Anyhow, knock on the door, referee, can I see you, Mr. Warnock? 
and I had to go in referees and he said I'm sending Paddy Kenny off I'm sending Paddy Kenny off and Muscat I said well he's only, he's only stood up no, I'm sorry but I'm sending them both off and so we hadn't got a goalkeeper on bench. I didn't have goalies then. So I didn't what? have goalie on bench. Jags used to go and goal yeah. for you though, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, I said, come on, Jags. Get yeah. your gear off, Jaggy Elka. Another fabulous person. Yeah. And family, great family. And uh, here you go again, quick. Wow. <laughs> Took my rod in, Neil. <laughs> Do you need the net for this one? Let's have a look. Oh, it's still a nice one, isn't it? Might be easier doing it with net. Your netting for me is a bit, bit too big, this one. Oops, a daisy, I've caught myself here. Have you? Got it, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, here it's a nice one. Here ah. we go, here we go, we're in. Nice one. <laughs> Two one bully. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, another nice oh, one, isn't it? Take, yeah, beautiful. Oh, that is lucky. Nearly took the rod in. See that? Oh, lovely. I've got that a lock is. in there. I'm going to say you're going to be careful with yeah, your rod. Lock in there. Just that. hold that a minute. Let me just get them net. I've got the thing here. Just what you got? Did you move that, to the lads? Where I put my fish when we catch them? On the on, Can the, you get on them? the mat. Let me hold that a minute. Yeah, I've got a mat. He's beauty. Isn't He's he? a good in him. Look at lovely. Oh, he's a lovely shape. A lovely condition, isn't Dumpy, he? Dumpy, isn't he? Yeah. Obviously, I've not fished much. I've not fished much down here lately. Go on, look at that. Huh? There you go. You put him back in stuff. You can't say it's 2 1, lads, because I've not got my rod in. That's true. All right. While we're talking, I'll just watch him fish. Nah. That Good that. Get yourself in again. What did you put on there, maggots? Just four or five. I put, do you know what? You know when you said there's loads of roach, I put five maggots on. Yeah. Just a bigger bait, you know? It is, because the bigger ones will have it, won't they? Yeah, well, it worked that time, didn't it? Got it. Yeah. Let me just sling them back in. At least we've got something there. Yeah. <sighs> look, me old maggots are getting wet. Look, 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 look. I like how you do it, by the way. Just flick her out. I didn't know you could do it. You know, like from here? Yeah. You'll have to bend your toes though, won't you, with, with rod? You see it go? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna pull it back here. <laughs> pull it back here, cause yeah. even though they're only little, they do bolt off, you know? They do, oh. Well, when I was up at Middlesbrough, we yeah. went to a pond nearby, they hadn't been fished for a couple of years. This guy, he, he had a bereavement in family and he didn't want to, anyhow, let us come in and, uh, oh my goodness, Jim, I caught my first barbel ever. Oh, I have never, Is ever. it in a lake or river? In a lake? Yeah. They do hold Unbelievable. Them. Years ago, you know, they said, ah, oh, they won't survive in lakes, they're river fish. They, they survive really well. I know a few lakes down in Kent where I'll fish, they go up to like eight, nine pounds. And what a fight, aren't they? Oh, fight, I'm, I'm, you know, brilliant yeah, yeah, yeah. fight. Like. They're lovely fish, my favourite fish, really. Yeah? Gorgeous. Right, I love this set. I'm so sorry to interrupt your story, Don't mate. worry, son, that's more important, my fish. Good lad. I'm, gonna... I'm not taking a risk on this one. No, I know. I paid a few quid for this rod. Okay, <laughs> Can you believe that? Are you on? It's only a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble with maggots. <laughs> yeah. Here's one of your little spiky friends, yeah. Neil. It's the first, is it a pie? Uh, it's perch. Look at him, though. Oh, lovely. That means they're breeding then, doesn't it? Beautiful, That it? means they're breeding. Yeah, yeah, Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah lovely, that. Oh, he scoffed all my maggots. Look at him, greedy little sod. That's the first time I've ever seen the maggots get hold of a fish. Put this on. If not, <laughs> we're just... Um, yeah. <laughs> the, if it goes round again, I'll um, leave it out for 10 minutes, eh? Where was we, Neil? Go on, where was we? Sheffield United. Uh, oh, Jaggy Elka going in goals. Yeah, yeah. So he went in goals, second half. And... and uh, and we ended up, uh, a young lad scored. We, I think we went one nil down after about 10 minutes second half and Jags were in goal. Everybody were doom and gloom on bench. And uh, we ended up winning two one. 
in the end at, at Millwall. But, he used to go and golf you quite a bit, didn't he? He did, said, yeah. you didn't have a keeper on, my, my you didn't best, like a keeper on the bench. My best you? one were um, when we played Arsenal, Arsenal in Premier League. Yeah, go on. At Bramall Lane. Uh, at night time, it were like this, weather were like this. It were bucketing down. Yeah. Wenger did not like it at all. No. Oh my <laughs> Went a bit God. of it. <laughs> and when I shook his hand, I made sure my hand were wet through. And I shook his hand and I said, <laughs> Arsenal, welcome to Yorkshire. Are you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he were brilliant. Though. Who was the manager you got on with, Neil? Talking to gaffers, who did you really connect with, you know, when you were in the office? Who was the I first one you Wenger. picked? Did you like I did him, like yeah. Wenger, because nobody realised he talked to you. Everybody thought he was aloof. People said he didn't invite you off, but he always invited me and my family in his office. Really? Nice day, yeah. But at that night at Sheffield, we were, it was nil-nil, and we were play, they were a good team then. And, uh, Who was in there? What, what team did they have out then? When uh, was it? The eras and all that? Just trying, yeah, I think, right, I think it would have strong. been that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we ended up scoring a goal, second half. Paddy Kenny again, sorry, Paddy Kenny again, pulls his thigh muscle. Uh, right. First minute in second half, no, couldn't carry on. I said, oh, no, man. And, we had, and even in Prem, I didn't have a sub, me. I yeah. didn't have a goalie. Did you not? I didn't, know. No, no. We used to have a shooting practice against Jags, and we used to say, well, he's, he's as good as any keeper, isn't he? Let's yeah, be honest, Paddy. Yeah. You know, I know, Paddy. The keepers don't need to do all, <laughs> do they? So, uh, Jaggy went in. He pulled off two fantastic saves, and we won 1-0. Really? Oh, yeah, we won 1-0. And Nardi, a lad called Nardi, who went to Scotland, big laddie, second, he just turned the centre half, uh, on halfway line, went through and chipped the keeper. Brilliant goal, and we won one nil. Yeah. So it was it was good having Jags, but they were a good group. Chris Morgan, me come in and sector oh, centre. Do you know what? I mean, you wouldn't want to. Used to want... frighten the life oh. out of me. He used to shake your hand. You talk. There's a sound about your hand shake. He used to grip my hand. No one used to have to shake your hand. He'd yeah. look at you in the face, grit his teeth. But he's a nice dude, weren't he? Because I, I spoke to Pad against him. I said I didn't like him. Was he all right? He said, Jim. Once he's in, it's usually the way with foot, isn't it? Once they're in your bubble. Yeah. They're really nice fellas, isn't they? It's just that once you're outside the bubble, I suppose you have I to be I suppose it's just like, I mean, managers, everybody thinks I'm like I am when I'm on bench, really, but quite a nice guy sometimes. You weren't that I? bad on the bench, <laughs> was you? I just, uh, I, I think sometimes in papers and people build you up to be what, what they want you to be, really. So I don't worry now. I used to worry. Yeah, did that, did that bother you back first, in the day? It, no, it used to worry me at first when I was a long ball merchant. Uh, at Notts County, you know, he's plays long ball. I were a long ball merchant in Notts County because my back four, Palmer, um, T Shorty and Dean Yates, yes. uh, they, they couldn't pass water. So so how, how can it. we play football if yes. they can't pass water? You know, they couldn't pass a ball from A to B. So we had to go long. So we didn't, yeah. you know, no one made secret about that. But you, you play like you. I mean, the team I've just left now, Middlesbrough, I think they've got the best football inside I, I probably have ever had. Really? Yeah. We, we're a do you bit think that's to do with, though, Neil? Because I wanted to get on to this. Do you not think that's to do with footballers have come on since, nine, you know, when did you first start? When yeah. did you, you know? It's Say in the 90s. Yeah, when I used to play, we didn't get, co like, coaching's come on as well, Neil, hasn't it? Do you mm. think the game's changed? Well, it has the game, changed. The game's changed in every aspect. Your nutrition have you had to and change? stuff like that. Yeah, you've you know, got to tactically, do. you yeah. know. You've got to do. I mean, when things go wrong, you're a dinosaur. When yes. things go right, they don't say, oh, what a brilliant tactician, yeah, same old. you know. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> so, so you've just, you've got to bite your, just got to bite your temper and bite your tongue and, and get on with it. But, you know, over them periods, the, I think Wenger was probably the, he changed the game more than anybody else yeah, in this country. What he in. brought in, the nutrition, the diet, the, yes. the, the diety, and the, then all the fitness, this, you know, the monitors. He brought yeah. everything in, really. Um, but, uh, I remember playing um, playing them at, uh, before we we played them in semi final in FA Cup at at, um, at Old Trafford. Yeah. Fergie got me in office the week before and said, "Do you want to use the facilities? You can go on the pitch." Anyhow, the FA banned us from doing it. Said we couldn't do it, even right. though Arsenal had been on the pitch a few weeks earlier. Right. Okay. They won't let us do it as always. Right. So we we trained at, at the Carrington. And uh, he's, Alex said, how do, you, how do you want the pitch, Neil? I said, what do you mean, Alex? He said, do you, well, we have it wet and sure, because we skim it around. Yeah. So I said, well, can we have it dry and long? <laughs> <laughs> did he do it? Yeah, did it, yeah. <laughs> Class. He said, he said, we'll turn the sprinkler on just as they're coming off the bus yes. for two minutes so it's wet. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. enough? I said, that'll do me fine, that, Yeah, Alex. nice. And to be honest, they were playing them the week after, midweek. Yeah. And I said to him, Alex, Alex, There'll be one or two missing for that game. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the What's way he we... like, Fergie? Get on with him. I got on all right with him. I, I was disappointed with him. One of my biggest disappointments, really, when um, 
he played a weak, a really weak side against West Ham last game when we got relegated. Right, I was okay. disappointed in him there, and you know, yeah, I think it's yeah. not. I think everybody um, he rang me, and uh, I said on the Sunday, you know, they had 30 shots or whatever. I said, yeah, but when West Ham tore your team sheet, Alex, and there were no, there were no Rooney, oh, there were no Ferdinand, there were no this, there were no that, there were no to the one, gigs and all that lot. What did he say? You know, anyhow, you just that was it. That's how it is. But that's that's life. That time. Yeah, I, yeah. I understand. Um, Benitez had same. He had a go at me for when they played at Fulham. And they got a win which kept them up, really. Liverpool played third team, I think. So he threatened to sue me, Benitez. No, did he? But being derogatory about him. <laughs> so we'll not say any more about that, Jim, on that area. Ah, so. oh, brilliant. Talk me about, um, let's talk some players that you've signed. You mentioned Tarat, QPR. What was he like for you? Because when you actually bought him, I remember all the big fuss about him. Mm. You actually thought he was going to... Well, well we to bought him. League, didn't you really? We Let's bought him right. for about a million pound off off Tottenham, but he was there when I took over. When I took over, they're in a mess, and they they could get relegated. Really, most clubs I take over I could get relegated, so that they were they were near the bottom, and um, they introduced me to the lads. And we had a, I always have a game. I put pads on first game me in a practice match, and yeah. I give fouls. I don't headers and that. What did you say? Make sure you got pads on, yeah. boys. Yeah, put your pads on. You want it. Uh, anybody don't win a header, it's a free kick. Anybody don't win a tackle, right, it's a free you want kick. It. You... I wanted to see you, who you yeah, early yeah. doors. I ain't got time to mess about. Yeah. Who, who do you want in trenches with? Yeah. So that, so it all was like anyhow. We went on this game and it was quite a warm day. And we're on the training ground. This member of staff, I can't remember who it were now, telling me, uh, that's so and so, that's so and so, uh, that's so and so. Uh, he over there. And then it come to this lad. He, I said, who's that? With the gloves on. I said, it's red hot. He said, oh, you don't want to know him. I said, what do you mean? He said, he'll get you the sack gaffer. I said, well, who is it? He said, oh, a Moroccan. They call him Tarab. He said, but they, we they've not played him for weeks. He's a, he's a waste of space. Right. So, uh, all right. So, of course, I watched this game, and uh, this kid's got so much ability. This kid. <laughs> it's just staring out like a bacon. I'm a, I, and I'm looking around, and, and he don't, he's not a bad kid. He, you know, I look at yeah. him. So I, I made up my mind after about 10 minutes. Did you really? Oh, God, I. So I thought, we've got to get some results. We've got to win games to stay up. Right. So I called him over at the end of the game, and i never forget it, on the halfway line. Don't forget, he's red hot and he's got gloves on. <laughs> I said, do you want my coat, Adele? Do you want my coat on while we're talking? No, 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 I'm OK. So I said, listen, Adele, you've, you've not playing it. They tell me you will get me the sack. Do you understand? The sack. And he's looking at me. The sack. And uh, he was thinking, what, what are you talking about? I said, you know, the sack. They told me, everybody tells me if I play you, you get me the sack. No, 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 I know it. I said, uh, oh, I said, well, you know, on Saturday, I think it was West Brom, top of the league. You know, on Saturday, we play West Brom. Yes. He hadn't played for three or four weeks. Yeah. I said, I'm going to play you on Saturday. Do you understand? And if you are, I don't know whether I can say that word. Go on. You can swear. Right. If, if you're shite, I, want real new I, said, I said, Adele, if you're shite, <laughs> I'm going to play you the following week against so and so. I said, and if you're shite the following week, Adele, I'm going to play you the next game, yeah. and the next game, and the next game. And he's looking at me thinking, if I'm shite, I'm going to play. I know what he was thinking. I said, do you understand? Uh, yes. I said, you are going to win me games, and you're going to love playing for me, son. Really, she well, really took him in. Oh, I took him Give him all the confidence Absolutely, in the world. Yeah. And and then we went off and cuss. It's unusual for a manager to do that. I never done it before. I never really? had a feeling like that before about anybody. I never would have ever done it after since she's left. Was that him. just what you see in that training? Yeah. That bit you One just session. knew he had that. Yeah. I thought mm. I mean listen, it could have gone up no, the other way, couldn't it? Of course. But I looked at him and I thought, wow. And and he did. If he, he was shit for three games, would you have binned him? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's all mind games. It's all mind games. Yeah. Uh, but we beat West Brom and yeah. we carried on and we got safe. And then I bought him. Harry couldn't believe I bought him. Harry Redknapp, we manager. Yeah. And when I paid a million, he said, "Neil, are you sure? You know, he, really? he couldn't believe that." So we bought him. And I remember we had Helgerson up front. Big yeah. Helgerson. He were on loan at Watford. Fun, and I called it? him in the first week, and I said, "Helga, you you were at Watford." And yes, yes. The manager didn't like me. I said, well, I can't do anything about it, but you know in the summer, it's only two months off the end of the season. I said, in the summer, I am going to build a team around you. You and Tarab, 
they're going to get me promotion next year. Yeah. This kid's at Watford thinking, he, thinking I were calling him Couldn't in to get rid jump, of him. Man. Couldn't to he get, jump. Yeah, best header of a ball I have ever 100%. had. 100%. And, and I said to him, uh, I'm going to make a team out of you and Adele. I know I am, and you're going to be my leader. Are you up for that? He said, oh, yes, yes. He thought he were, I was going to get rid of him. Yeah. And I, I come back and uh, pre-season, I signed oldies like this, Sean Derry and Clint Hill. Yeah. Clint Hill, I'm, he'd played about 15 games in about 15 years yeah. at Stoke. He got injuries left, right. And yeah, said, yeah. I said, Clint, I'm signing you, but you're not training when I tell you you're not training because I need you to play. So play your game, and then yeah. I'll, I'll see you following Thursday. You come mm -hmm. in and you can do your bit, but you're not going to train with us. But following Thursday, you can have one good session and then you'll play. Wow. You know, and um, we just took off. Yeah. Right from the start. I, I, cause, he was magic, weren't he? Oh. Rat. He, he done stuff now, honestly. I had to ban him. I'd been, he'd been, I'd been there a week and I said to him, I said to the, to the lads, I got them all together and after, you know, you're doing it after a session yeah, to have a yeah, quick yeah. chat. I said, right, lads, I've only been here a few days, Anna. Let me tell you now, anybody that passes the ball to Tarab in our half is going to be 50 quid first time, 100 quid second time, 200 quid third time, fine. Do you understand? Going to charity, good cause, lads, but don't do it. Yeah. So I said to Adele, Adele, if you come back into your own half, it's 50 pound when you come over that line. Do you understand? And another 50 pound. Do you Black understand? and white. Yeah. I said, I can't be clearer than that, can I? So he never could. Because when, when he used to play, he yeah. used to come up, get it off the centre half, turn around, nutmeg somebody, lose it, and they'd score. Always want the ball, though. <laughs> He's just starving for the ball, though, the kid, weren't he? Yeah, but, but you, give him, you... you give him the ball in that half. Oh, oh some wow. of the goals in yeah. that promotion season. I mean, there was a, there's a, 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 they did a film. They were doing a film and I took over and I agreed to carry on. And it was a four-year plan. And if you ever watch the four-year plan, Jim, it's on these stations, you know, YouTube and places. And if you ever... What, of QPR? About QPR? Yeah, on QPR. On Netflix, I think the I've seen it. The four-year plan, you've never seen out like it. How I got success with that, with, with what were the... Behind the, the scenes, moment. it was outrageous, it was weren't it? Mess up, weren't it? But they were lovely. I mean, the QPR fans, they were, they yeah. were amazing. And that pitch, it just suits me, doesn't it? Yeah. Because they're right on top. It's old-fashioned. It was tight, weren't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I used to hate playing I know. QPR. Rock-hard pitch. The... Bo just a fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was just, if you didn't roll your sleeves up, player, <laughs> yeah. you was in trouble, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Nobody. And yet we had one player, Ali Forlan, an Argentinian. Yeah, I remember him. The yeah, best yeah. midfield player probably I've ever had. Really, uh, Neil? Skill-wise, and as a lad and all, he was a super lad. Yeah. Yeah, and really, so it, we had a mixture, really. We had the old guys like Derry and, and Clint Hill. Yeah. Um, and then Helgerson held us together up front. Um, your teams have always had, like, Camaraderie is big for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You've always sort of. Yeah. It was that part of your makeup, you know, when you went in. I need you, you mentioned Clint Hill Derry, you know, Clint Hill Derry. Then you had Morgan, Paddy. You've always had them old school players around you. Yeah. Was that the same at Borough? Yeah. Or same, at, same at Borough. I had to. I mean, when when I went in at Borough, the, I'll tell you the truth, Jim. They were quite the, close to getting relegated. Yeah. We couldn't see them when we saw them play. We we worried sick, you know, for a few games. We couldn't win at home either. Um, but then we stayed up, managed to stay up, and then we had another year with all the big pay. There were a lot of lads on big money there. Yeah. Um, so we had to gradually get rid of them. I thought we could have been su successful. We we just f fell away after. Is Christmas. it an eye opener when you go into some clubs? And you go, God, we're here. Wow, and they're on that. Is it a big eye opener? You go, Wow. Well, it, it's, it's a big eye up. opener, but but you you know you go in and you know that certain lads. You know, they paid a lot of money out. They, to be in fairness to, to Steve Gibson, he supported his managers and um, he gave them a lot of money to spend. Yeah. And the, he, he thought it, that, that would do it. But unfortunately, it didn't really come off with, with Britta Sombalonga and, and Ashley yes. Fletcher, play people like that. Uh, good lads, but he just couldn't get it. So the second, the, the end of the second season when we cleared the decks of the big, yeah. big hitters sort of thing, then we brought one or two free transfers in. And I, I'll be honest with you, it keeps on about us, that I signed 12 players in the summer, but seven of those players, I still had nearly 10 grand short of Brit's wages. Right. <laughs> if you had seven yeah. of the players together. Yeah, yeah, So it yeah. weren't like, you know, I, I tried to look after the club as best I can. And, and we cleared it and they got a great dressing room spirit. And there's some good players there now, really good players. And I, I really please them. But it is that team spirit, the bonding, Jim, that I've always enjoyed. Yes. I've always enjoyed... Getting a, a, like you, you always were, you were a bit of a rogue. Yeah. You know, you're a bit of a lad in, but I always thought, 
I like bits of lads. I, I like rogues. You I let like, them be, don't you? You yeah. let them be, do you yeah, let them let run them their change their room? Thing. Yeah. Let them do their own thing. Obviously, and you I, stamp your authority once it you goes You do, over but do you know with these lads, when you give them that much confidence and you tell them what you're going to do with them, they very, they're very often, they never let you down, you know. Mm. They don't ever bridge that. No. Because they, they're really pleased that you've backed them. Yeah. That they don't want to stitch you up. 100%. So I, yeah, I, I've yeah, never yeah. had a, not many, I mean, there's some players that I've never come off and uh, and you can't do it about it. I had one at Sheffield United. I signed him and I think he'd been there two days and I thought I'd made a right mistake. And really? I got, and I got rid of him about Happens three... Happens though, don't it? Three weeks later before really? they had all in the space of three weeks. Oh, blimey. <laughs> But, but that, these things, you know, you can't win. I think the, to be successful, you've got to be sort of 75 You've got to get 70, 75 percent of your, your yeah. signings right. Yeah. And you've got to get the dressing room right. And every one of my promotions, they've all, they all have reunions. They yeah. all go back to see each other. And when, when I'm there and I look at them, they've still got all that, that togetherness. You know. And even Scarborough, Notts County. Yeah, I've had yeah. them, I'm, you know, I'm going up to Scarborough in March for a reunion. And last year it was Plymouth Argyle. Yes. And all the lads are the same. They're, yeah, they're older. But that you can see the morale, the, the, the togetherness. To back that, you know, I've been in, I've been in clubs that lost touch ships in the night, you know. And a lot of your boys who I've spoke to this week, I've, I knew I was coming up and obviously having this chat with you. They've all stayed in touch. They've all said great things about it, you know. You've upset one or two. It's always going to happen in football, but a lot of them have really had your back and they've loved playing for you. You know, it proved what a great gaffer you you was and are. You know, football football now for Neil Walnut. Where what's the script? Are you getting going to get back in the game or are you not? Well, I mean, I would say never, never, never regarding this season. We're always going to be my last season. Right. So I understand why you know Middlesbrough got to look for a, a, a future. Are you with me? Yeah. In, in the respect that um, I knew when they brought the director of football, I didn't, didn't know about it till I read Sky that they brought somebody in. And I knew when he never looked me in either, I, yeah. I, I was going to be on a bit of thin ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it, didn't, it didn't, you know, it went overly a shock. But I, I wanted to, I thought I could get them promotion this year. And I still think they've got a good chance. And if I could help somebody else between now and end of the season, I probably would. Right, okay. Um, but I'm, I'm, but now, defo you last year? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. I, because I want to do things like this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I like fishing and I want to go to see um, Celtic Rangers and in Milan, yeah. the two Milans and Barcelona, Real Madrid. Yeah. I'd like to see a few... You've always been a big watcher of football. No, not, not massive. Um, but I've also, I've, I've always... Enjoy certain, like last week, I enjoyed the challenge everybody said about Liverpool, Man United, all these. I enjoyed yeah. Norwich playing yeah. against Newcastle. Only yeah. because of what was at stake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see the Big two guy. managers yeah, who were good yeah. managers, English managers, and, and to look at what they went through and know, you know, know what they were going through. Newcastle, what do you think are happening up there? That's, that's a weird one now, isn't it? Right. Well, it's, I think it's, Shit's I mean, when you look there, at the, isn't it? The, the support is unbelievable. Yeah. When I was at Chesterfield at 19, yeah. 19 years of age, before you were born, you weren't even a twinkle then. <laughs> uh, when I went, we went in the Central League up to Newcastle one day, and we used to have a fillet steak at Scotch Corner in them days, uh, and a slice of, you know, some toast and fillet steak. That were a pre-match. Before the game. You know, oh. I mean, nowadays, they'd, they'd cringe, wouldn't they, if you had a fillet yeah. steak. So we went up to Newcastle, and just before we got there, um, one a, a old lad called, uh, uh, I think it was Dave Blakey, who was there his last year. He, he was still playing in his hard toe caps, Jim. What, still toe caps? When I was 19. Yeah, really? he was still playing, Dave Blakey, yeah. And he said to me, you're going to be in for a surprise, Neil. You've never seen anything like this. I said, what, what, what do you mean, Dave? He said, this is Newcastle. I said, yeah, but reserves. Yeah, Neil, Neil this no. is Newcastle. Just so you don't be shocked at anything. And then we went round the corner. Yeah. I think there were 13,000 people watching a reserve match. Really? Jimmy, I've never seen it like Fanatical. as a kid. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And they were everywhere. You know, and, and, and the fan and they had some good players in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They? So it was a... Uh, They've always been a huge club, haven't they? Oh, yeah. I want to talk about... You've done some, um, what they call them, documentaries back in the day. Yeah. And you was the king of docs, basically, weren't you? <laughs> How did they come about? Talk me about them, you know, when you used to lose your nut in the art. You know, was was that, did you know the camera was there? Did, uh, the, the, How to did be that fair, work that year, for you? If, you? if I'm honest, that year, yeah. when you look at those, you realise that I'm myself. I'm not yeah. putting out on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had 
I mean, like we've got you all lads here today, haven't you? Cam doing the cameras yes. and all that sounds. I agreed to do a testimonial on, on the one assumption that the cameraman that was with me, yeah. I trusted him 100% and I could cut anything that I didn't yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. but I said, I don't want to cut anything. So I want it to be as it is. As real as possible. Yeah, I want to be yeah. as real as possible. Um, and I won't think about the camera. And I didn't think about the camera. Right. Uh, and one of the best ones was Chris Morgan. Can oh, you... mate, I remember. <laughs> it was so good, wasn't it? But that were wolves. But it, it, I've got to say, yeah. I've been in change rooms, obviously, and it does get like that, don't it? People, because a lot of outsiders looking in would think, oh, is that a bit stage you know yeah there's a yeah. manager going off on one but yeah. it actually happens doesn't it there's a lot of testosterone there's a lot of it does with me i mean i i, I shout and you are one of them isn't you neil i am i shout for three or four minutes and i get my point over yeah but by the time i walk out of that dressing room to go and see the press good. i am got a problem with any of players okay no matter what they've done yeah no matter how bad they are yeah it's gone monday mornings are entirely but it goes with me when i go out the door Yes. I'll, I'll say it and I say things, you know, it's like when I'm with when referees, isn't it? I you know, you I say that. things <laughs> and, and then, you know, but you, I am like I am. I can't change that. But with the players, I never let it, never let it dwell on. Do you, you could do one in this day and age, you know? Would you, would you run the risk of doing one in this day and age? Oh, I do one. Of yeah, course do one. I do. I've had one or two at Middlesbrough. Yeah. You, oh, did you really? Oh, cook okay. it. I no. really. I mean, I don't think that changes. The only thing that changes is now, I think the top level... Yes. In the Premier League, and all, all the lads from abroad that are playing in that league, uh, they're very, very difficult to understand, wouldn't they? I would. Yeah, you know, yeah, I can't speak yeah. the languages, and no, so I'd have to have an English, you know. Uh, but I, I think most players, you know, need telling at times. Yeah. Uh, and, I, you know, likewise, Jim, I give a lot of praise out. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I look I after the players. Yeah, I know that. And if, if somebody's done something wrong, and I'll try and always look after my players. Yeah. Best Press ain't interested in that though, are they? No. You get what I mean? Let's have it right. They're not interested in that side of it. No. They're I mean, more... the headlines, uh, they're always. I can tell you one or two newspapers. Um, Go on. Um, like, I always I always got stick off Daily Mirror, right? Did you, yeah. Always got Why stick. Why was that though? Don't know. Did you upset uh, them before? Certain people writing columns and things, but. That's why when I did my autobiography, right? Yeah. Made in Sheffield. Yeah. I think you can still get it, Jim, if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, we'll No it. doubt I'll have to give you a free that, one. Please. Um, <laughs> so when I did my Made in Sheffield, Oliver Holt wrote it, who's a fabulous journalist. Right, OK. And I had a lot of time with him, at, you know, and... Uh, How did you do that? Did he follow you around? Yeah, he gave me... Tape. I had a tape recorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I can't remember everything. Yeah. But then he, he, he made notes and asked me certain questions about things. Come up and had a look where I lived and things like that. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah. talking about where I was born and that. And, and all that lot. But we come to the part where I, I was talking about when I was a young lad, about we had an outside toilet. Right. I said, Ollie, I need you to put this in, all right? He was writing for the Daily Mirror yeah. at the time. I said, my dad always had the mirror. We always cut it up into four and wiped our asses <laughs> on it <laughs> yeah. in the outside toilet. <laughs> He says, Neil, I don't, I don't think I could put that in. I said, well, if you don't put it in, you don't write no. me book. Yeah, that's fair enough. And he put it in. So <laughs> yeah. I said, I, I want to have the Daily Mirror back. to know that I wiped my ass on their papers. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you mention refs as well? You mentioned, but a lot of the press did love you, Neil. Do you know what I mean? There's mm. only one or two that I suppose stick a little bit on you. Was, when you first went in the dressing room and you got the programme, was the referee your first look? No, that it was the week before I, I saw who were refereeing the following week. Oh, right, OK. So I was planned, you know, I always used to ask him, let me know who the referee is. Yeah. Not when I first started, but last, the last few years I used to said to the girl, when they're appointed... you used to have some ding-dongs with refs, didn't you? Oh, let me appoint... I oh, know, dearie me, I mean... I've, I mean, it's... it's they've, they've, over the years, there have been some good ones. What's your biggest ding-dong you've had with a referee? Um, and the reason? I want a little story here. I think they've... I'm, I don't think we've got time. We ought to do a podcast on referees, really. That would last about <laughs> two or three hours. I mean, uh, you know, there were always ones who were a bit arrogant. Like I told you about the Arsenal game. Uh, Nil-nil, we're playing well at Old Trafford. Semi-final at FA Cup, Graham Paul. Yeah. Um, the ball's going across and Michael Tong's got the ball, playing the ball out wide. It hits Polly. It hits him on the backside and goes to one of their players, yeah. Lundberg or somebody. Good out line, cross it and they score. The winning goal. Choke. And this is, I mean, it wouldn't happen now because there are new rules, isn't there? Yeah, if he yeah, ticks yeah. you now, he comes back to you, doesn't it? Drop ball, yeah, yeah. But in them know, days. You, you, so, and as I'm going off, I'm walking off, he, he's just made the goal, Paul. 
and he's slapping his head off with oh, Vieira. Liberty. Yeah. Like he, like he, he, big brothers, you know. And I, you know, and I went in after to see him, and um, he's there again, smirking away. Yeah. And I said to him about you, just, you know, I thought you were a disgrace the what you didn't stop the game. You had enough opportunity to stop the game yeah. before they scored. In that respect, when it went, there were another foul that he could have given. Blah blah blah. He didn't want to know. I think it. I don't know how much it cost me. Probably about ten grand or something like really? that. Really? Yeah. But um, you know, he was. Even just to have the laugh of Vieira after to rub it in your face. Isn't well, it, I mean, I just. Uh, I think sometimes it's uh, because I, how I am. I'm an yeah. easy sort of target in that. There's great referees. I've had some good referees. Yeah, cool. The ones that talk to you. Uh, talk to the players, Some of them but they've had a lot of it kicked them. out of them now. They've yeah. had a lot. I mean, no disrespect. I'm not Mike Riley's biggest fan. He knows that. Um, he refereed me Hartlepool, one of my first games as manager at I think it was Plymouth, and he were terrible. And I remember going in to see him, and somebody said he's just gone. What do you mean he's gone? I want to see him. He's gone. He's, I said, well, he hasn't come out here. No, he's gone the back road. Over the, he's gone to the other side of the pit. <laughs> you, I chased him. I chased <laughs> oh, you him. Did, oh, I did. did I chased him to speak to him, <laughs> Riley. And he's in charge <laughs> of our best referees. Yeah. He was a robot. He knew probably knew the rules, probably went to bed reading the rules. Yeah. He knew every rule you could hear, everything. The one thing he didn't know, he didn't know about common sense. Yeah, and that, football. that's big, isn't it? He didn't know about what it was like when somebody kicked you from behind. <laughs> he didn't have a clue about <laughs> little things. Are you with me? Yeah. Whereas the top ref, yeah, when Keith Hackett refed and that, they, they understood a bit about... You about, need to, don't you? Yeah. The knit and grit about the game. Yeah. You know when players, someone's left a bit on someone, etc. So, et and there's some there, there has been some good referees. Oliver, you know, like Oliver, he's going yep. to he's like a one from the past. He'll have a talk, he makes mistakes, but he'll have a talk to you. But he, he, you know, I look at them and I look at some of the lads that are coming through now. Oh dear me. I mean my dad was a class one referee. But he never got and dad I, was, yeah? Yeah, my dad right, was. okay. And he, he refed some great. I used to go and watch him referee when I was a real small lad. And uh, But he always talked to people, talked to players, and always, you know, I think he might have swore once or twice at him and all, you know. And uh, I once said to him, why didn't you ever get on, Dad? He said, I never sold enough raffle tickets at local <laughs> RA society, <laughs> yeah. you know. And I think that's how you were, you know. It's, yeah. uh, it's still a bit of a closed shop now. I still think there's time... To get one or two ex players now, when you when you see some I'll of the bad like injuries, that. the mm. bad injuries that they get, and they're out the game so young, there must be opportunities. But I think, I think referees, people who understand the game, you yeah. mean, that have been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think referees are frightened to death of this new breed coming in that's played football, and yeah. I think they're a bit dubious to help, help out like that. But that's the only way forward for me. I think it's uh, because it is. I, I I think it's as it's as poor a refereeing at the moment in the EFL really? that, I, that I've seen right, okay. since I've been in the game. Why is that then? What, I just don't, I just don't think, I don't know, they're, they're either frightened, I mean, for example, this year. Haven't freshened it up, is that what you're saying? This year they've been told not to give as much now, this year, to be, you know, with the, with the last, was it European or World Cup last one, where the referee, let, let it go a bit more. Right, and, okay. and I think then we were told in England that to let a bit more go, and I'm all for that. But if it's if it's a bad foul or if it's yeah, a foul, it's a foul. It, you know you can't. And I've seen they, they seem to just let things go now for sake of saying they let things go. And yes. uh, they don't use. I don't think common sense comes into it now. It's black or white, um, and it's a shame because I still think having a quiet chat to yeah. a player on the side as you're going past him, I still think that's as good a, as a, a, in you know in your armory as a referee mm. uh, and the understanding of games. But the pressure on referees. Now, especially at top club, you know. I mean, I've been fined over the f over the years. How much do you think I've, you've been fined? Oh God! Put a figure I, on it. I slowed me. down I a bit it. when Sharon said, "Right, from now on, you're giving me as much as you get fined." And I'm Who's gonna, that? Sharon. The, the she says, "If you get fined again, now you're giving me the same amount of money for me and kids." <laughs> so I've calmed I calmed down a bit after that. But I look at it, <laughs> and um, I look at the FA. They have got their own people. Um, I think it's Malik. Is it Malik? I can't remember his name now. But they've got their own people looking at everything you say. Yeah? And I got fined... Uh, but saying, even if you're not... Surely it only counts if you're in mic or in front of someone. Surely you can say what you want. No, they, t they take all the cutting. They look at all the press conferences. Do they really? And, yeah, they look at everything. And, and they're frightened to death of some clubs. And I, this year I was going to ring this guy up who's, who's done me over the years to ask him, because I got a, a, a newspaper column when Pep Guardiola... Pep 
I'd have really criticised about the decisions. If that had been at Liverpool yeah. or Man United, it would have gone the other way. Now, if I'd have said that, that would have cost me about 12 grand. Really? But he never got charged for that because they're frightened to death of doing people like that. Whereas you, you Neil Warnock, yeah, they'd do it every week, that one, if they That's could. That's a joke, though, isn't it? I know. Is that what winds you up? Yeah, it does, eh? Yeah. yeah it does, eh? So if I, they used to ask me to do referees' meetings. You know, How referees... much do you think you've paid? I want to figure. What do you think? Fines only. If you had to... <laughs> Bloody hell, it's got to be nearly a quarter of a million, hasn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> it really Got to be some it? I mean, they used to ask, <laughs> they used to ask me to do. Large. They used to ask me to do referee societies talks, and in the end, they used to say, "Yeah, I'll do it, but I'll have to charge you to, to go <laughs> towards me fine." Get some lolly back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. Was you big on finding players, Neil, as well? No, not really. No. Nah. No, they used to find them, they, 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 like Chris Morgan oh. and people like that. Yeah. If they were fine. Like if I were talking on training ground, if I was saying something to Bart, I want you to do so-and-so, so-and-so, yeah. and I could see two lads. You know what you like, you like yeah. Two lads at the other side talking to each other, not hearing me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said, what did I say then to yeah, so-and-so? The and they wouldn't know. I said, 20 quid each. Uh, Chris, 20 I'm quid each. Chris used to collect it. Really? And I did that everywhere. Brilliant. You know? and, yeah. and then they give it, I think, Christmas. They always give gun. it to yeah, 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 Children's Hospital, didn't they? Yeah, 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 nice. Um, nice. So it was... But I, I don't <laughs> think I don't think it, it really helps that much. I can't it? believe that two hundred and fifty large. It might not be as much. It's as got that. to be though. If they're knocking twelve grands out like it's confetti, it's ridiculous. Well, look at I, I, when I were at Palace, we played Chelsea at Palace. I'm just trying to think. Of, oh, my favourite man. I got done again with him, uh, Craig Porson, right? So we're at Palace, and he books one of my lads for an innocuous tattle, right? And then five minutes later, John Terry does exactly the same thing. Yeah. Probably a bit worse. But straight away, gets up, puts his arm round Craig. How are you, Craig? And all that, yeah. that little chat. Yeah. Does he book him? Does he hell? Yeah. So, of course, I say, if that one of my lads, he'd have got a book in. 12 grand, I think. 15 grand. What, for that? Oh, God. Uh. And then, when we're at Cardiff... There's a question, sorry. Yeah, go on. Did a club ever help you out on that, or do you have to pay? No, I had to pay. Most of 90% of the time. Sometimes right, okay. they helped me out. I think, I think Steve helped me out this year. And when I got done, a uh, light, lightweight right, one, okay. at on, Swansea man. last year, when we got... Um, we had a referee who uh, made that many mistakes, it were untrue, and then give him a penalty at last minute and all sorts of things. And we, the, the, the club got fined, I got fined, and the referee got a nice game next week to go and referee. Yeah. You know, even though he knew he admitted they were wrong in all accounts. Do you have, but, any, have you had, ever had a chairman come in, reel you in and go, Neil, it's too much? You no, any, you get what you see, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. going back to that Craig Porson, ironically enough, so I'm at Cardiff City, we're fighting for his lives, we've had loads go against us that season, but we're really good, we're doing close, we play Chelsea near the end, I don't really remember it, Jim, uh, Jim. but we play Chelsea, we're winning 1-0, five wow. minutes to go, yeah. ball comes over, this kid, uh, I can't say his name. What's his name right back? I, I can't say it, his name. What did he say? Well done, son. Yeah, sorry, yeah. You should have helped me out there, I didn't know you was right. on about. So he, he's on the line and he heads it in. He must be three yards offside and there's a linesman down the line. I'll call him Ed. Ed's, I know his name now, Ed Smart. I can look at him now. <laughs> So, there's a linesman there, don't flag, don't flag at all. Right. And they give the goal. And who's the referee? Craig Parson. Twice against Chelsea. And because I get done, I, I, uh, then the second, then this, you know, after the game, they zoom onto me. I always yeah. go onto the pitch and thank the fans, clap them all the way around. But, you know, I went onto the pitch, but I couldn't say out to Craig Parson because I, I were that furious. Yeah. If we'd have won that game, Jim, we'd have stayed up. And I knew wow. when we didn't win it, I knew that was us down. Really? Yeah. Livid. If you saw the dressing room, the dressing room was absolutely dead. And everybody, all the lads, one lad were crying. Yeah, one bet. lad were crying. He said, Gaffer, he was offside. I said, I know he was offside, son. What do you think? How do you think I feel? And, and mm. I went out on a pit and they all, all, everybody was saying, oh, look at him. He's gone out to confront the referee. I didn't want to talk to him. I just looked at him, mm. mate. And uh, they went off. Oh, and was then, that when and they then stood you on the pitch and you walked up to them yeah. and stood up? Oh, yeah. I remember that. But I always went on the pitch. It wasn't yeah, yeah, something yeah. new. But the, the media made it out as if I did it on a purpose. Right, and, okay. uh, and then after the game, you know, what do you say then? 
So you, you do a report, yeah. and then five days later, you get a, a letter back on your desk. Dear Mr. Warnock, we looked at the following things. Yes, you, uh, you should not have done that. That should have been offside. That should have been there. But they don't pay your fines, do they? Mm. And I said it were a disgrace. That was the worst worst decision I've ever had in the Premier League, anyway. As if you don't, you need, you need a bit of luck at times. But I mean, that was even now. Even I think that the kid was so apologetic after because he knew he would. Really. Two or three yards yeah, offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But apart from that, no, I've had a few little. Uh... <laughs> You're a ref, mate. You're. A... I'll put you on the spot. You um. Any ding dongs at half time, full time? Can you give me what's the biggest ding dong you've not you been involved in players at half time? Has it ever gone off or you thought, oh wow? Not really. the biggest I mean, ding dong. I've had seen. ding dongs at half time, crikey, yeah, I've had the paint coming off the walls, haven't we? And <laughs> what? You, I mean when I was younger they used to be where was I now? When I first started. With all I, them characters in the change room, you know what it gets like, you know. You ever seen anything where it's just bad? Well, what's I the saw, biggest ding dong you've been involved I saw, in? I saw Paul Devlin in uh, Marcus Bent. I seen him not pass a ball to him, Dev. He didn't pass a ball to uh, to Benty, and Benty went daft at half time, and the you know blah blah blah, and they went up to each other, and Benty's big lad, yeah yeah, and yeah. He, he went towards him. <laughs> Dev just head butted him. Did he really? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <it> was. <laughs> and Mick Jones said, "Gaffer, what are you going to do?" I said, "What am I going to do? I think it's brilliant." I said, "Just, <laughs> just wipe the blood get up. On with it. Wipe yeah. the blood up. <laughs> Let's get going." Uh, yeah, I remember Ben. He was but a handful Let me as well, tell you though, funny, the he? funny one at um, you talk about me. When I first started at Burton Album, we, we played, uh, was it Macclesfield? Something like that. Anyhow, we were, we were, we were winning 1 0, and it was seven minutes injury time this, this referee played, and the equalised in seven, 97th minute. Yeah. And, and we went in, and I'm talking to the lads, and I was so furious. And I, I went into the back room. Uh, after about five minutes and I saw this what I thought was just an ornament on the floor and I went and I kicked it full on what was it? and it was a shoe on you know the old, the old fashioned shoe on raw tie -in? oh my <laughs> god and it broke me toe <laughs> and of course I didn't want stuff. anybody to know that were watching that I were in pain I had to bite me bite me fist because <laughs> I thought I was in so much agony they kicked this bloody thing. So. What, it just on the floor? It, it was on doing? the floor. Someone on the bloody, one of the kit men had put it on to do a boot. You know, a boot. Because <laughs> yeah. it was a few years ago, that, isn't it, now? Oh, Neil. Oh, I nearly bust my foot. Broke your foot? Oh, my God. Oh. Brilliant. Right, so quick fires. I think we've talked about it, but who's the best player you've ever managed? The best player I've ever managed. Best defender I've ever managed was Craig Short. Yeah. Uh, who was a colossus. Um, but the best player I've ever managed, ability-wise, I would imagine it's got to be Tarab. Really? Ability-wise, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hardest player? Hardest player. I had a few, had a few hard. trenches with you. I had a few hard players. Yeah. I loved Gunnison. Yeah. At Cardiff, he was a manager's dream. Um, Paul Hardy, in a way, at early doors at, uh, up at Notts County. Yeah. Um, they were probably the hardest two. Best player you got along with, who you loved. And in oh, touch I love with that any many players. I love, with, are you in touch with any of them there still? Yeah, Duncan Watmore. Really? What a, what a lad. Gent, I yeah. mean, if he were if he were your own son, you'd 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 think you know. In fact, he reminds me of William, my lad. Really? Oh God, I. I mean, he come to he come to he'd been going. We're going to go to India, Duncan Watmore, and he were at Sunday, been at Sunderland, about injuries and things. Yeah. And he come and I, 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 I think it was Gordon Armstrong who I said, "Will you have a look at him? Just have a look at him, please, uh, Neil. Will you?" Yeah, of course I will. He come down, and I, I just loved his attitude. Yeah. And I said, look, I know you can go abroad and what have you, but why don't you just give it... And I asked my lot, could I give him a small contract? They said, no, no, he's... You know, I remember somebody saying to me, I think it was Chief Exec, saying, stats don't add up, Neil. His stats, he doesn't score goals. Look at his chances and all this, that and other. Anyhow, he trained for two or three weeks, and I said to him, get yourself fit. And you can always go to India, <laughs> but just get yourself... And we didn't pay him for six weeks. Right. And... Uh, and then I said to him, like, please, let's just give him a small contract till January. Yeah. It's about October, November. And we give him a small contract till January. And then he got 10 goals, something like six goals and 10. Did he? And they had to give him a proper contract. He's over the moon for him, Jan yeah. Oh, and he, even, and I sent him a message. He scored two great goals the other, other week and all. Yeah. So I'll, uh, people like that. Are, but everybody, nice. you know, you look around at, 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 at your squad and like I say, every one of them lads were were, a, were good lads. Really. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Johnny Alson, what an example yeah. he was. And, yeah. and 
and and uh, Paddy McNair, you know, fantastic people. Yeah. So it's uh, it, it, nice. It, you know, good. Favorite chairman. If they called you now, who'd you go back to? Different to? one. I think Mehmet Dalman at Cardiff. I couldn't have got success without him. Without a shadow of a doubt, he was unbelievable. Um, but when I look back, Simon Jordan, he got criticised left, right, and centre. Yeah. Where you know, does he, a lot for talk sport now. Yeah, he? he does. Yeah. Plays there, and he he talks a lot of sense. I love yeah, listening to him. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, was so, he good? Was he Simon? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And he Get lifted me when there. I was down, right, which is okay. which a chairman has to do. Mehmet yes. did the same. Derek Dooley weren't anything other than a um, a senior figure, but what a gentleman. Yeah. And he helped me at Sheffield United, you know, overcome a lot of problems. Yeah. So you, you go through, at Scarborough, when I first started, I had three chairmen in uh, in eight, in about 12 months, something like that. Really? I was the first manager that gave the chairman a vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you about your records. Yeah. Now, how many games you've been in charge of? 1,603. Is that the most? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't see that being beat, Jim. Can you? When you look at when you look at joke. what you've got to do to do it, you know, to get that far. I'm, I mean, I thought I thought my thousands game would have going to be my, my last. Yeah. And uh, my thousands game were funny and all, Jim. Can have you got time to tell you? Yeah, of course you have. Please. I were at, I'm here um, for you. I was at the Emirates. Yeah. And uh, Arsene Wenger. Before I don't know whether you know that the the, the, um, the dugouts are about fifty yards apart, aren't they? Yeah. And we were at the in, in the centre circle before the game and he's look showing. I said, Arsene, look at your dugouts. And he's a big bloke. I'm looking up to him. He's enormous. Yeah. I said, you'll not hear me today. Look at look at the way the dugouts are apart. And he just looked at the, each dugout all slowly like he does. Yeah. Looked across up past me to the other dugout and looked down at me and he went, Neil, you will find a way. <laughs> that, <what> <laughs> that went me thousands of game. So uh, it was quite funny now, but um, yeah, it is. I, I mean, I am proud. Though. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really proud. I Absolutely. Mean, Dad would have been chuffed to death. Any really. standout games for you? I suppose there ain't, is there? I, I, I think really, when you look when you look back, you, you, because there's so many games, oh. uh, no, I, no. I just think um, I don't pull it like that then? when it's just bobbing up. Really, like that, you just wait for a proper I one. I have to Go wait on, till sorry. it. Yeah, takes it. Um, I think all the playoff finals. You know, I had four finals. At yeah. Wembley, and to win them all, it was unbelievable, really. And um, you never know, lost a playoff. I look now. I've, I've lost a playoff, but I've never lost one at Wembley. I oh, lost okay. the Sheffield United playoff to Wolves at uh, Cardiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every every one other, um, we won them all at Wembley. I mean, Plymouth, Uddersfield, Notts County twice. They were great trips, you know, with the fans, the windows down, and all the yeah. shouting and all that. And you, you don't you don't forget things like that, really. What other records you got? Most, pr most oh, promotions. Oh yeah, eight. I eight. Eight. Eight, eight promotions. I remember all of them. In. Yeah, I can remember Go them on, all. Read yeah. them off. Um, Scarborough was my first one. First team to get promoted as outright. Oh, Fenners, um, I love you. Two at Notts County, from third to second, second to first. Yeah. Um, then I got Huddersfield up. Then Plymouth. Then. Uh, went up to Lancashire. Uh, didn't get anybody there promoted. I'm just trying to think what I did then. Sheffield United, um, QPR, and Cardiff. Right. And uh, some great. I mean, Card the fans at Cardiff and QPR were were unbelievable, really. Yeah. And th we weren't supposed to be anywhere near getting promoted. That's good when that happens. Oh. Because the pressure's not there, and almost say it just builds and builds yeah. all season, and you get more and more fans in, don't you? And you, the lads just love it, don't they? Yeah. You, know, you, you don't yeah, think you yeah, can yeah. ever get beat, do you? No, ain't it amazing? Like, like, what, what winning does to you? I know. Training's better. I know. Everyone, because I've been there as well. It's horrible when you go through a losing streak, isn't it? The difference in life, isn't yeah. it frightening? Yeah. And it, I mean, for a manager, you've got to be the one. There's, there's times I've gone home yeah. on a Saturday night, and I'm desolate. But I know that by Sunday morning. Yeah. I know. I mean, I, I, I didn't. It's a lonely old game, I don't sleep much on a Saturday night. Do you not? No. Yeah, I'm not. Go through. Are you going through yeah. the game. Yeah. Do you um, watch videos out of the game or not really? Not, just not like a lot. Self seeing. No, I, I watch all the you know the things I need to look. You know some of the goals that you concede and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, it's, it's 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 a lonely place managing managerial when when you're the manager. 
number twos are different. Well, you don't have, yeah. you don't have a, the, the worries, the problems. You know, you not only are you looking after your team, you're looking after the upstairs. Is, yes. I think for a young manager now, the most difficult thing to handle is upstairs. You yeah. know, you've got a, you've got your board of directors, your owner. There's a lot of owners from abroad now. Um, there's so many things that you've got to deal with. And I, I've obviously dealt with all that. Yeah. And uh, and still, you know, kept going. And it is hard. It isn't. It isn't easy. You mentioned um, number two. Important to have a good team around. You obviously is. But oh. who, who's your great good number twos that you love working? Well, working I, with? I started Took a lot off. Of pressure off you. I started off with uh, a mate of mine, part-time Paul Evans, who was a goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, but I had Mick Jones, who, who were unbelievable for me for all, for many years. Mick was, you know me, how volatile I am, and yeah. I would, I'd have a go about this, that, and the other. He always calmed me down, and he was always sensible. Yeah. Um, and then I had Stuart McCall for a bit at Sheffield. He's what another he good like? lad, really good lad, and knows his stuff as well. Yeah. Um, so I've had some decent ones here. I've had Blackie, Black Kevin Black was being with me for donkey's years as well. I yeah. signed him at Scarborough as a goalkeeper, and uh, and then he's been working for me on and off for for quite a few years now. So it's, uh, uh, I think you just you've got to have a, a good number two really, haven't yeah. you? you? Because you you just you just need somebody that's going to tell you how it is. Yeah. Ronnie Jepson, who's been with me now as well Ronnie as Jepson. my coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeppo is so good for me because they all tell me how they are, and. Uh, and that's what you want to hear. You know, you don't want our yes men, do you? You don't want people no, just buttering up to you. There's a few of them out there. So I know, and Kevin, Kevin and Ron, they, they, sometimes I've, I'll go in and say, look, this is what I'm going to do. And, and then they think about it and come back. Gaffer, I, I used to think, we, we think blah, blah, blah. And I've changed my mind. I put all my hand up. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't change my mind an awful lot, but I have done. Yeah. And I think that's a good... That's You've got to listen as well, Yeah, right? and I think that's good when you're... Um, when you've got staff like that, because they know that, that they've, they've got an important part. Keith Curl worked with me for a few years Keith as well, Curl, yeah, and yeah. Keith was good. He was. So, um, you know, I think it's... You had a lot of num name number twos that I recognise there, didn't you? I didn't realise how many well, when, good when, boys played, when, you, yeah. when you've been in game that long, long yeah, cool. <laughs> you're bound to have a few number twos, aren't you? No, I get it. Uh, I probably forgot somebody as well now. Any youngsters starting, looking at getting into management, Neil? Any advice? I think What's the biggest main, thing you could give them? My main thing, if you've got to be lucky, you've got to... I think if you're looking to get a management, you've got to have a good chairman, you know, hopefully owner, chairman. You know, like Ben Robinson, who's at, he's at Burton now as a chairman. Yeah, he was my chairman when I went to Burton. And for a young manager, he gives you... He's so backing, he, he gives you... You know, Someone even when things you. go wrong, right. he backs you. OK. And, and that's what you need, because things are going to go wrong. Yeah. You know, that's the only way you learn by making mistakes yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you, you know so that you don't make the same mistakes but a good chairman is I think vital you, you can't always I think that's the ideal thing isn't it they want to arrogate where the son is the son of the, the owner is the oh, manager yeah, yeah you can't, <laughs> can't lose can you uh, hey, they've, had nine good, the fans they've had nine successful seasons so yeah they've done well haven't they yeah but yeah. it's um, it, it's difficult for young managers because when I first started there were no phone-ins there were no social media, there were no telephones, yeah, really. Everything now is, and there's so much hatred about it as well now, which I can't, I can't cope with that really. Yeah. You know, you look at the venom, some of these people, what they say to you when you lose a game it's of football. It's got worse, isn't it? Oh, it has. It's Absolutely. A, it's horrendous yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Horrendous. Absolutely. But you wouldn't change it for the world, mate, would you? I wouldn't. It's a great what game. What a career you had. I know. And I love going, like now when I'm down here, Jim, I love going to watch Bodmin and Tavistock and Truro, yeah. a young lad who played for yeah, me at, yeah. not, at uh, Plymouth, Paul Watton, he's managing Truro. Is he really? Did you yeah. go down there? Yeah. Have and a I, sandwich with him, And class. I do, and I, I just enjoy that. Yeah. You know, it's not all, you know, the, 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 the Plymouth as well, and Ryan's gone, I know Ryan Lowe's gone to Preston at the oh, minute, yeah, yeah. and young Stephen Schumacher's taken over, and, but I do enjoy going there as well with the crowds. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a really... I'd love to see them go get into the championship and up because they're on such a limb. Yes. Down here, you you know you know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel at times they don't they don't get rubber the green down here. That's why I've always brought me teams pre-season down here to let to let the fans you know. Yeah, where did you bring? Was it a lot down here? Did not always. never go abroad. Always. Now always stopped at uh, at St Melian and places like that. Yeah. And uh, 
we've always tried to go and play two or three. We played Plymouth most times and Exeter and people like that, but we try and play two or three non-leaguers um, just to let them, you know, it's great at places like Tavistock and Bodmin where the lads can meet their, have a photograph with them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, with the fans. Yeah, Clark, yeah, yeah. And to be honest, some of the fans have had good weeks on holiday. I got a few letters from Middlesbrough fans this year thanking me for a great week in Cornwall. <laughs> I put my float there, by the way, Jim, because no, I right. can't see with the bloody reflections here. Are you on? Are you snagged? No, I'm snagged, yeah. It's all right. I didn't think they were out there to snag. Have you lost? Oh, you gone. Yeah, it's all right. We're finished now, anyway. That might be telling you something, Jim, that. Yeah, we're done. I think you're done now. I'll end it with you. I know. We'll have a little three minutes. Just watch my float go down Go on, then. Let's see what we can catch. Finish on a high. <laughs> I normally have a bigger float than that because I can't really see that hardly. You I think the see... tip snapped off, you know. Oh, is it? Has it broke? I think so. But you can, you know, well, you've hit one, haven't you? <clears throat> well, it's definitely um, done your world of management, isn't it? Look what you've got here, mate. I know. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right. I just want to say thank you so much, Neil. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You've been a top man. And um, I wish you all the best with your fishing, your golf and your footy, mate. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. You've been an absolute class Cheers, guest. Cheers, mate.